Hello and welcome to another session of Let's Play Pokemon TCG Online. I'm Daniel, one of the hosts on the Reasons I'm Broke podcast found right here on YouTube, as well as on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio. You can find the link to all of those at nerdupmedia.com. On that, the Reasons I'm Broke podcast, we cover comics, movies, TV, video games, and more. And the very first opponent we have is Incubus01 who seems to be using some Dragon-type Pokemon, very popular right now with this brand new Roaring Skies set. Don't be surprised if we see a ton of Shaman EXs and a ton of Rayquazas. We're running our Litwick a little bit modified from the last time, just a couple of adjustments, and they start off with one I haven't seen in play too much, and that's the Latias EX. So let's go ahead and draw three. We can evolve next turn on Litwick, and we'll get that draw three right back. And since we did go first, looks like we won't be able to attack this time around, but we will feed Litwick and end our turn. So as I was saying before, don't be surprised, Shaman EX with the Sky Stadium has been a great combo for a lot of players, especially with that Rayquaza. It does 30 damage times the number of benched Pokemon you have, so it can really rack up damage very quickly. I was playing a match earlier in which on their very first turn they did 120 damage because of the Shaman and because of, because of that Stadium card. So it really helped them out. And uh, that was on their first turn again. So you're going to see a lot of players doing massive damage right from the beginning. And if you only have one basic Pokemon or low basic uh, decks like mine, you've seen I have four Litwicks, four Gengars, and that is it. It can be a bit of trouble. It can make for some very quick matches. It looks like they put down the Jirachi EX. They've got a uh, Hydreigon, another one from the brand new set, so is the Latios EX. And then it looks like a Swablu as well, with a <laughs> little Charmeleon yelling at him. I don't know what he did, I guess they fought each other, he burned them. It's probably one of the story cards I haven't seen yet, but looks like we are still asleep. Doesn't really affect us because we are going to evolve next turn. Let me see if I can get a Rare Candy. It looks like we do not, but we'll get some more energies in the meantime. There we go, so we'll evolve, we'll feed the Lampent, and we'll do the Curse Drop, which does 30 damage to anyone on their end, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on the Swablu. One on him, yeah, let's put them all on Swablu. I really like the Incubus avatar, <laughs> he's got the mustache, he's got the glasses, and he's got the Groudon hat as well, whereas we're running with Gengar. No longer poison, so we're going to go ahead and evolve into Chandelier. We'll attach that Rock Guard onto Chandelier as well. We've got the Charon. We draw some more. We do have that special energy card that we're going to go ahead and feed the Chandelier with, and we can go ahead and attack and knock out some of these Pokemon here. So we're going to do one onto the Swablu. Let's see. There we go. So one, and we'll put the rest onto the Jirachi and try to knock that one out next turn. There we go. And we do get a rare candy as a prize, so that'll come in handy once we draw up another little Litwick, because we do have a Chandelier ready to go. And once we get the Jirachi out of there, we can start probably working on the Hydreigon EX. Let me see what the ability is doing. If there's any Stadium cards in play, the retreat cost of each of your Dragon type is two colorless less. So that's really awesome. So they're going to do 70 damage to Chandelier, so we're down to 50. Hopefully we'll draw some kind of basic Pokemon, because next turn we'll be done. There it is. We get the Gengar, let's go ahead and play the Dimension Valley. Even though that does give them the free retreat cost, at least that is something else that we have to work with. So let's go ahead and feed the Gengar, start building him up since we might have the Chandelier knocked out next turn. Let's do the Curse Drop, so we'll do... Uh, we've got a bit of an option here. We can do three, four, five, six. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do... No, let's go ahead and finish... Let's finish off this draw chain instead, because in case that fainting spell activates, then it won't we'll have some damage on the Hydreigon here. There we go. So that's two prizes for us. We get another Gengar and we get a Tierno as our prizes. So the Rock Art is gonna do 60 damage to the Latios, even if the fainting spell does not activate. They put out a Verizian. Each of your Pokemon that has any Leaf Energies attached to it can't be affected by any special conditions. So the Gengar that we have down here with Dark Order won't be affecting them as long as they have that Grass Energy on them. So there they go. They go for the Knockout on Chandelier. They gain 60 and the Fainting Spell does not activate. That's why we have the Rock Guard because of uh, attacks like that. 
uh, even when the fainting spell fails, at least they still take 60. So we're going to go ahead and play the teammates since we did get a Pokemon knocked out this time. Let's go ahead and get a Lysander and let's go ahead and get that Litwick. Let's see, here we go. Teammates, basically, if a Pokemon was knocked out during the last turn, one of your Pokemon, then you get to search your deck for any two cards in it. So it's really useful. That's one of the newer cards that I've been putting in there. So I'm not going to put an energy onto the Litwick quite yet. And I do have a couple of options here that is affected by effect. So that does 80 damage. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and Mega Evolve onto the Mega Gengar. We'll do the Phantom Gate attack. Let's see what kind of damage we can do, which attacks. We've got the Emerald Smash, the uh, Barrier Break. It's pretty good. Light Pulse prevent all damage. All effects of your opponent's attacks except damage done to this Pokemon the opponent's next turn. That's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and go with the Light Pulse for 110 damage. Hopefully it'll protect us from any side effects that they might have to their attacks. We're down to one prize now, and we do get another Litwick as part of our prizes. So they put out the Hydreigon, it's got 160 damage. They add the Muscle Band on top of that. We got the Professor Juniper out there. So 100 damage onto Mega Gengar with the Shred Attack. Alright, so we put out Litwick. Let's go ahead and do a Rare Candy onto Litwick with the Chandelier. There we go. There it is. Okay, so let's attach a special energy onto that chandelier. We'll go ahead and draw three. We're down to 20 cards. Let's do a Great Ball. See what we get. We get another Litwick, another Gengar, and a chandelier. Let's go with the chandelier. Since we do have another Rare Candy. Versus Seeker, we'll get our draw three right back. All right, so now we can start doing some damage here. Phantom Gate again. We're going to go with the Light Pulse for 110 damage. So it's their turn. They're down to 50. We're down to 120. Next attack, we should be able to put them away and win the game. If they put out a weaker basic, then we can always Lysander up and knock it out for the last prize as well. So let's see what they end up going with. They discard their hand. They're going to draw 7. Do they put out a very weak basic? No. They go with the Verbank City Gym, so they're probably going to play a Hypnotoxic Laser. Uh, no, they end up attacking for 100, so Mega Gengar is still kicking, and we can pretty much just knock it out at this point. Um, oh no, we need one more energy, so let's go ahead and feed Gengar. We'll do the Phantom Gate attack for 110, and that'll be the game. Alright, so it looks like we got our first win of the day, our first victory. I do have a bunch of booster packs we can open today, a couple of options. And let's see what our bonus is. We got 25 bonus coins. And then we're going to get some coins for winning as well. So that's 38 coins for winning. All right, Broquettes, that was awesome. Uh, it was pretty quick, uh, pretty quick, especially with that Mega Gengar. That really helped us out in choosing any one of their attacks on their end. And that 110 damage is what really dealt uh, the win for us. So here it is, our second opponent, I underscore M underscore Flash. They've got a bunch of fighting types is what they're running with. We're running with Psychic, so we should have some resistance to them. So let's see what we have here. No basics to start off with. Same with the opponent. All right, so let's see. No basics again for us. Same with the opponent. All right. <laughs> and again, no basics. And looks like they finally got some, and we finally got some. All right, so we start off with a Gengar. We've got a teammate's energy retrieval. Looks like they will draw a bonus card. And let's go ahead and do the Great Ball, see if we have any Pokemon here. We do. We have another Gengar. Let's go ahead and put him down. All right, we'll feed Gengar, and that'll end our turn. Let's see. The Metatite has a weakness times two to Psychic. If we can get a Dimension Valley or a Double Colorless Energy, we should be able to put away a Metatite next turn. So there's the Halucha. Very common card in fighting decks. That Retreat cost is awesome. And there's that switch that they get so they can get rid of their Metatite and start building up Halucha with that Flying Press to 60 damage with one energy as long as um, it's a Pokemon EX. And that's exactly who they put out. So they're going to do 40 damage to the Gengar because of the resistance that we have. So it's a very fast moving card because 60 damage straight off 
and the suit. Okay, so this Pokemon's attacks aren't affected by weakness or resistance. Even better. So we're down to 110. Let's see if we can... If they get a Muscle Band, that'll be it for the Gengar next turn. Um, what do I want to do? I can start building up this Gengar. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to do the Night Attack, do 30 damage onto Metatite, and then their turn. Not leaving us with too many options, unfortunately. There it is, the Silver Bangle. So if I had fed Gengar, that would have been it. And with this Gengar down here, it would have been without an energy. So. so at least that time we got a little bit lucky. And the Muscle Band that they should add onto the Metacham down there. They have uh, Professor's Letter. We're going to get a couple of energies. That Silver Bangle, it gives them extra damage against Pokemon EXs. And then that Muscle Band gives them an extra 20 as well. So they're going to do 90 damage to the Gengar EX. Not affected by resistance. So the little bit of advantage that we did have is pretty much gone because of the ability on Halucha. We'll go, go ahead and feed that Gengar, and we'll just do another Night Attack for 30 damage onto the Medicham. Next turn, after they knock out the Gengar EX, we can go ahead and play teammates, try to get a Dimension Valley out there. Get rid of their Fighting Stadium, because that is going to be hurting our, our Gengar EXs in the deck. Especially the next one that's coming up here. So they're going with Versus Seeker. They get that Karina right back, which they'll play. There we go. They'll search for a fighting Pokemon and an item card. So let's see what they end up going with here. The Head Ringer. So that's something they'll probably attach onto the Gengar. Yep. So our attacks are going to cost us an extra energy to use. So there it is, 110 damage onto Gengar EX. That's the knockout. They get two prizes. So let's go ahead and play the teammates. Let's get the Dimension Valley. Let's see, where is it? All right, there it is. There's one of them. And we do need one more. Let's go ahead and get a, another basic. Let's put out Litwick. That's the Dimension Valley. We'll play the Verza Seeker, get that teammates right back just in case. And can we attack yet? No, because of that Team Flare card. So let's go ahead and feed Gengar. We'll go for the knockout on the... Oh no, it doesn't... Will it do a knockout with the poison? Yeah, there we go. Cool. So 60 damage. And they put out the Metacham, which has a weakness times 2 to Psychic. They will knock out the Litwick, and then they'll put more damage onto the Gengar EX. There's Lysander's trump card. All of our discard pile goes into our deck. So that Dimension Valley goes right back. 30 damage, 30 again onto Litwick. And he's knocked out. So now we have the Gengar right back out there. So another teammates that will play. Let's go ahead and get that Dimension Valley right back. We'll get a Gengar. There's one of them. So where's the Dimension Valley? Do we have one on here? There it is. Awesome. There we go, get rid of their stadium card. Let's see, we can do the Dark Corridor, we'll attach that onto Gengar, and we'll do the Dark Corridor attack, that does 120 damage onto Metacham for the knockout. We'll get a prize, and they're down to three, we're down to four. We do get a Chandelier, and there's their Halucha right back out there. So they're going to Sycamore, they'll probably try to evolve into the Metacham again. They have another Halucha right down there. Hopefully no more head ringers. Because <laughs> those are really slowing us down, even with the Dimension Valley. Try to get a Litwick next turn. So there it is, 80 damage onto the Gengar EX. So let's go ahead and put down the Litwick. Alright, what else do we have here? We got the Versus Seeker. Alright, so let's go ahead and Oof, I don't have any energy. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and Lysander out the Metatite. We'll do a Versus Seeker and we'll get the teammates. Yeah, no energies. Alright, so Night Attack onto one of these Haluchas, that one with energies. So that one's down to 40 and hopefully it slowed them down a little bit with that Metatite. They'll have to 
uh, discard an energy if they want to retreat and put out that Halucha again, or if they have a switch, that'll work as well. And they're going to go ahead and evolve with the help of Karina. So there it is, Metacham. We're down to 90 HP onto that Gengar EX. Hoping to draw a card. So there's that switch that I was talking about. Even with the energy card, they'll just switch out, put out Lucha, and do some more damage onto the Gengar. There it is. 80 damage onto Gengar EX. So we're down to 10 HP. Do we get an energy? We do get one that time. So let's go ahead and first evolve onto the Chandelier there with the rare candy. Awesome. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to go ahead and do the Dark Corridor attack. And who do we want to put out? We'll probably put out the Gengar EX with the full uh, full HP on that one, 170. Even with the Head Ringer, we do get a Great Ball. They put out the other Halucha with the Special Energy, so that's going to do even more damage to our Gengar EX. Let's see if they get any Muscle Bands on that one. So there goes our Special Energy from the other Gengar. I do want to power up the Chandelier though. Let's see if we can do that. So there's the Versus Seeker. The reason I added the teammates card is it's especially going to work with the chandelier that we have. Where any brokets that are watching the show that I have seen this know that we always put out chandelier as kind of a sacrifice because of that feigning spell. And with that combo of rock guard like we did in the last match, it can really help out uh, the rest of the team here. So there it is, the silver bangle. There's their other meta cham now. 110 damage onto Gengar EX. Resistance matters not. All right, so we do get an energy, cool. And nothing on the Great Ball for that one. Let's go ahead and attach that special energy onto Chandelier. We'll do the Dark Corridor attack for 60 damage. The Poisoning will put out Chandelier, and that'll be the knockout on him. All right, let's see if Chandelier can hold off. There's the Fighting Stadium. Thankfully, we don't have an EX out right now. Oh, they do get a Lucario EX. If I can get another Versus Seeker, I can hopefully get the... We've only used one so far. We can get that Lysander right back and try to go for the double prizes with the Lucario EX. So 30 damage, and they're going to do another 30 onto Chandelier. So 70 onto Chandelier now. We do get another Gengar. All right, we can't... We're going to go ahead and retreat for free. We'll put out this Gengar. Can I do? Nope. I'll have to attach another energy onto that Gengar, unfortunately. Dark Horde or Attack does 120. Put out that Chandelier, and that's one prize left. So if they knock out the Chandelier, we get heads that will be game. So let's see what happens next. They end up going with Lucario. Missile Jab does 30 damage. Attack isn't affected by resistance. They've got that Versus Seeker. There's the Lysander. So they're going to drag out our Gengar, unfortunately. There it is, and they'll get two prizes after they knock out this Gengar. 50 damage, two prizes, and we'll put out... This will put out the Gengar EX. Alright, we do get a Professor's Letter. Let's go ahead and get those energies. We definitely need them. We'll do the teammates. Do we have another Dimension Valley somewhere in here? Let's see. I do want to get one chair in. No, actually, let's get a Versus Seeker to try to get that Lysander right back. Dimension Valley, let's see. There it is, cool. Ooh, that Rock Guard, though. Yeah, let's do that instead. Dimension Valley, Rock Guard, done. So let's attach that Rock Guard onto Chandelier. We'll play that Dimension Valley. We'll feed Chandelier as well. Oh, we'll do that next turn. So Gengar... We'll do the Dark Corridor attack, does 120 damage, we'll put out Chandelier. They're poisoned, and they're down to 50 HP. We've got the Chandelier out there. If he attacks, that's going to be a knockout as well for him. So they get two more energies. Let's see if they notice that Rock Guard. Every now and again, they won't see that one, and they'll attack anyway. And Is that what they're going to be doing? Do they have a Lysander? They're feeding the... Let's see, we're down to a prize each, so let's see in what order this goes in here. There's that gold potion, heal 90 damage from the active Pokemon, that's what they go with. Okay, so we have to get a heads here to win the game. 
40 damage, 30, we got 70 onto, all right, great, never mind, retreat, put out Gengar, go for the knockout, Dark Horde or attack, Chandelier, and that's the game. I thought Chandelier was down to a little bit less HP, but it looks like he was good to go, he can take it, Chandelier is awesome, so that's our second win, we do get a tournament ticket out of that match, and we get a coin for winning as well. All right, let's jump jump into one more match here. Let's see who we end up going up against. It'll be all right. Happy Forbin, colorless, fire, grass, and looks like other types as well. So it might be more of a complex deck, something that could cause us trouble. Let's find out here. I do want to thank you all once again. Just click on the Reasons I'm Broke logo at the top right-hand corner of the screen to subscribe. You will see the podcast pop up on your feed as well as some more of the future Let's Play Pokemon TCG online matches. We also do unboxings for various uh, statues, figurines, especially if you're big on the comic book side. You'll see a lot of Batman statues especially. All right, so here we go. We got the Gengar EX. They put out Eevee, so it looks like... All right, so let's go ahead and get that Mega Gengar. We can hopefully get a Litwick here, and we do not. That's all right. We'll get that draw three right back. And we'll do the Muscle Band onto Gengar. I didn't want to attach the Double Color List this early, but it looks like I'll have to. And I'll end our turn. So there's that Eevee with 50 HP. They can just attach, and they should be able to evolve. Can they evolve on their first turn? Let me see. This counts as evolving. That is the same type as this card, show for your deck afterwards. So they won't be able to evolve this turn, but they can still put down their bench and start building that up at least. Hopefully we get an energy and we can knock out the Eevee. Let's see what they end up doing here. If they don't have any other basics, that will be the match, but usually it doesn't go that way. So here we go, Battle Compressor. That's what they're going with. Search your deck for up to three cards and discard them. Show for your deck right afterwards. That's a lot of chandeliers in our hand. <laughs> Mega Gengar, three chandeliers. We've got the Tierno, we've got the Rare Candy. There's the Ultra Ball. So they should get another basic out of that. They go with the Ursa Ring from the Plasma Set. Random receiver view cards from the top of your deck until they get a supporter. So they get that Sycamore, they're scarred, and draw seven. Acro Bike. They're already down to 33 cards, 31. They probably have a Lysander's Trap card somewhere in there, especially with all these Battle Compressors they're playing. So they're really setting up uh, to do some hurt here. <laughs> and there's another one. Wow. Another three. What have they been discarding? A bunch of Bursa Rings, Flareons, It might be an attack that reads how many Pokemon have been discarded that are Plasma or that just have been discarded in general. Alright, looks like they don't have any basics, so as long as we get an energy, we should have this match. There it is. So, Dark Order attack, 80 damage, and that's game. So looks like they didn't have any basic Pokemon that time around, so we were able to pull off the win. Three wins for today's recording. So we do get a tournament ticket. Gengar and Chandelier. It looks like Gengar was a hero of today. He did a lot of great work, especially that Mega Gengar in that very first match. Didn't have to pull him out this time around. But, Brokettes, we can go ahead and open up some booster packs. So let's go ahead, and go ahead and go to our collection. Let me see what I have here. I haven't opened any until we've actually done recording. I save them for you guys, so let's see. All right, I didn't open this one. This was a tournament chest that I got. I got two of them. There we go. So we get a Crocker Rock and five coins. Let's open up another one. Five coins, and looks like a rare card. Let's see what it is. A Delphox. Once they're in your turn, you may draw cards until you have six in your hand. That's pretty awesome. If I had a fire deck, I'd probably throw that in there simply for setups. All right, so I can open some from the new ones. Let's do some Plasma Freezes here. All right, let's open up this booster pack, Plasma Freeze. Nothing from that set that I'm really looking for, but still cool to see. There's a different Litwick right there, a Makahita, Mankey. We've got an Eevee, the Temple, 
Let's see what this guy does. Put a Team Plasma card from your discard pile into your hand. That's not bad. We've got the Lantern, Staravia, two rares. Let's see what this one is. Looks like a Quagsire. And laid back. Any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 20. It's okay. And we've got the Cacturn. Uh, the payback, 30. If your opponent has only one prize card left, this attack does 60 more damage. This card energy attached to the defending Pokemon. Uh, not the greatest card. Let's open up another pack from that exact same set. We've got Sandile, Makuhita, Pachiritsu, Weedle. We've got a Rotata right over here. I love that artwork on that. That's really, really cool. We've got a Team Plasma badge. This Pokemon uh, that this card is attached to is a Team Plasma Pokemon. That's kind of cool. We've got the Metang. We've got another Eevee right here without that ability. And our rare was the Bisharp. Dark type. Not something that we're going to be using here. But still really cool cards, especially the Rattata. And here we have the Boundaries Crossed, a couple of booster packs there. These were for, again, from another tournament that I entered and a couple of random prizes as well from playing in Versus. So we've got Volibi, Dunsparce. Let's see, we do have a Psychic here with Poison Point. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and is damaged by an opponent's attack, the attacking Pokemon is now Poison. It's pretty cool. The Mind Foe, we've got a Meowth, a Sand Slash. We have the other two. We've had the other two before. Those are Caldeo EX. Very common. You see those uh, look for a lot. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, the reason that Caldeo is great is because once during your turn, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may switch this Pokemon with your active Pokemon. It's called the Russian ability. So here we go. Another boost pack from that set. We've got the new Mel, Cottony. We've got the Ducklet. That's another brand new one. A little Togepi right here. Another great artwork. On this card, a track smack for the coin of heads of defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. Another new card here, the Tranquil, and a really awesome looking gold duck, an Electabuzz. It looks like it's a reverse hollow, yep. And we have the final one, and that's uh, Camerupt. Alright, so I think I'll save the other ones for next time, the Furious Fists. Let's go ahead and open up three from the latest set, which is Rolling Skies. A lot of opening packs today. <laughs> Alright, these I should be able to trade here. Got a Voltorb. We've got a Felucha. Very different from the one we went against. Not as good, so definitely use the one in the Furious Fist set. Pelipper, we've got a Dust Tox, a Silcoon Reverse Hollow, and a Zatu. Alright, let's open up another one here. What do we have? Got an Electrike. Another Dratini, that NK that we've seen before, <laughs> really funny, the Pito. Trainer's Mail, look at the top four cards of your deck, you may reveal the trainer card you find there and put it into your hand, that's pretty cool. The Winona, search your deck for up to three colorless Pokemon, reveal them and put them onto your hand, so that's great with the Rayquaza decks. Another Trainer Mail, but this one's actually a Reverse Hollow. Oh, look at that, Mega Latios EX, that is great, I'm sure someone out there is looking for it, I'll probably throw it up for trade and see... If I can get some hollow psychics or maybe that secret rare, rare candy if someone's willing to trade it. That is awesome. So let's open up one more here. Got the Drygar, a Bagon, uh, another Meowth. That's the first part to that story that we've seen. So he's st stealing a vegetable there and he gets smacked in the face next time. There's that Dragonair Mega Turbo, very common now. Attach a basic energy from your discard pile to one of your Mega Evolution Pokemon. There's a Gallade Spirit Link. And the Zatu again. Uh, this one's a rare. It looks like it's the exact same card that we had before. But the other one, the big one, was of course that Mega Latios. Great, great card to have. So I would do want to thank all of you very much for tuning in for today's Let's Play Pokemon TCG Online. Once again, I'm Daniel, one of the hosts on the Reasons I'm Broke podcast. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the top right-hand corner of the screen, the Reasons I'm Broke logo, and check out the rest of our shows on the NerdUp Media Network. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and we'll see you on the next one.